EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Sonoran Desert and always entertaining TPC Scottsdale, it's live second round coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. It is known as the greatest show on grass, and it has lived up to that moniker through the first couple of rounds as we take a look at the Friday leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Meanwhile, for our featured golfer, this will be a true test to try and put a good round together on this Friday. Nope, only one bunker on this opening hole, and that's it. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. A 110 to the hole, pin just on the front edge. Sandwich takes flight, and I don't think it's going to carry. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Well, there's more evidence why the long bunker shot is so difficult. Now, a good short game. Well, I've got to say it, you hate to give away shots this early in the round. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Eight-foot putt here. Mm, that slides by to the right. Just never had that on target. Okay, it's a bogey here at the first. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. All right, that's in for a bogey here to start the round. And he's going to fall even further below par. Good solid tee shot there coming off the bogey at the first. This is in the fairway at number two. No need to get overly aggressive with the driver here. This a long iron and it does the job well. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Now, this is a shocking start. After the mess at the first, looks even worse here at the second. From the fairway, Noda, this is third. A little unlucky, ball skipped over the back edge, now faced with a very difficult elevated hit shot. Mm, that's gonna scoot a foot or two by. and concentration there. That'll cost him. Okay, a disappointing six here at the par four. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Okay, it's a bogey here at the second. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. 
Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway bunkers down the left, now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hold if you can't make this par 5 and 2 in a brand new green that has been completely changed. All right, in the fairway. PGA Tour moves back to California next week. We'll be at Hogan's Alley in Riviera Country Club just west of Los Angeles for the Genesis Invitational. Frank, we go from hysteria to history. Oh, you do, yeah. Humphrey Bogart's tree on the left side of the 12th hole is um, still there, and it's still a feature. A huge sycamore tree there that kicks the odd ball away from the green. Uh, it's good. The whole golf course is in a, in, a, in a sort of a bowl, so you get these swirling winds. I know they've tried to uh, renovate the golf course over the last few years. It's actually made the fairways a little wider, but another straight-up test. I mean, the West Coast swing, you really have to bring your game. Gave it a go, but that's into the greenside bunker, and it's fairly deep over there, too. That is a really good shot. Only the two on this par five, but the work's not done yet. Uh, I'm a tough taskmaster. If he makes the part, or at least gets down in two, then I'm going to congratulate him on the result. Oh, kind of bladed that one. Got it out, but it is now in the rough. Here, you've got to just be looking to get this into a more makeable range for a birdie, but this, an eagle putt. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. From about eight feet. Now, we've seen folks hang that putt out to the right. It does not move as much as you think, and that goes on by. So that safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he'll remain right where he is. That one in for a bogey here at the third. And he's gonna fall even further below par. It's not the most famous par three at TPC Scottsdale, is it? But it is the first, the fourth hole at 183 yards, just a bit uphill with an elevated green. It is well guarded by bunkers. That one, safely on the putting surface. A chance maybe to run something back there for his second. Ugh, so many shots just being given away on the front side and all because of the short game. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, this is very makeable, Rich. Not a lot of break, not a lot of slope. Definitely take a run at it. So from off the green now, a third to this par three. Nope, that at least was a good putt that could have very well gone in, but he misses by less than a foot. Finished off, it is a bogey here at four. And with it, he's gonna fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. 
Okay, this par three shows its teeth. It is a double bogey. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. From off the fairway, this is second at number five. He needs to be mindful of the breeze here as he sets for a second. Not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. This one, whew, right around 70 feet away, though it is for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt right there. From that distance, he'll settle. Nah, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. Finished off, it is a part here at five. And that's gonna keep him right where he is. All right, that's in for a double bogey six. And he's gonna fall even further below par. That ball is going to be slowed up enough that it is going to wind up in the bunker. Yeah, good swing and a good result as that is safely into the fairway. You need to be careful not to take much, if any, sand here. His second to this par four. Doesn't quite make the green on the fringe, but not too shabby out of the fairway bunker. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Way off the mark, misses the green to the right. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Oh, this is where Putty may not have been the best idea from there. This is past the hole, and it'll go up the other side of the green. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. All right, good job to blast that out, but it is by no means home. He has a 12-footer here. That one just going to sneak on by. Safely in for a par here at the sixth. And he's going to stay right where he is. Okay, so that one finished off with double bogey.
And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Arriving here at the longest of the par threes at TPC Scottsdale, the 215 yard seven. The screen features a false front, so you don't want to be short, especially left where a big bunker guards the putting surface. And he might have been trying to land that over the flag and spin it back, but that just carried much too far. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Second shot now, here at the par three. It's a slow start, and you can blame it on the short game. A lot of movement on this putt left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three-foot circle. Now a third here, trying to get back onto the green. Right all the way. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seven. And he's going to fall even further below par. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. That one up the right side. Well, it's in the first cut. We know you can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. So now from just into that first cut, he'll ready his approach to this par four. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. It is on the green, but that will be a tough putt on the way. Okay, not a bad lead, that's a good shot. You got to think two putts will work out fine from here, but this is a long look for birdie. I'd be very happy with that one. Yeah, lag putt. I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. So anytime you can uh, two putt from there is a good result. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll remain right where he is. Okay, that in for par here at the eight. 
and that's going to keep him right where he is. The final hole on this opening side is a par four measuring out at 454 yards. There's one bunker to avoid right of the landing zone, but the distinguishing feature here is this green with a ridge right in the middle. Getting the ball to the correct portion of the green on the approach shot can be the difference between a 10-footer for birdie or a 50-footer. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this lie. Finally got rid of the spray can because the balls was going all over the golf course. I mean, just the little piece down the middle of the fairway, just, just plop it down there, just like that. That was good. In the fairway, it's lying nicely and 180 yards left. Well, had a good lie in the fairway, but couldn't do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. Twelve feet still to go. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Mm, nope, couldn't get that one on target. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. The wind is really whipping here, and that is a good job using the iron to sort of get that penetrating ball flight, keep it down underneath those gusty winds, and ultimately where you want it, in the fairway. Nope, that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball going to run off the fairway and into the bunker. Now, note his second from the fairway. 150 left to the hole. Pin sitting in the back left portion of the green. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. A lot to worry about here as he digs in for his second. Now, that's actually a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Oh, 
Well, you hate to give one back on a putt like that. Safely in. Well, it's a par here at the 10th. And he's going to stay right where he is. Okay, that one in for a bogey here at 10. And he's going to fall even further below par. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dog leg. And uh, you mentioned the water. It always comes into play. And there are zero fairway bunkers. You don't need them here at 11 because really it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway. Then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the barrel outside, and your problems are just starting. And that will do just fine. Ball not sitting too badly here at number 11. This is second shot. where the wayward previous shot will cost you. Failed to reach the green from the rough, and now it's time to scramble. Not going to be easy. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Deep breath time. Got to get this back on the green and hopefully close. Oh, what a good job of keeping that club face open throughout contact. You saw the big splash, and this winds up just a few feet from the hole. Judge, though it's 4 5 here at the par 3. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard, well above par. Safely in, it's a bogey here at number 11. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Clean lie here for his second to the par three. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best.
13 feet away. Now the putter bails him out there. That's in for a par. And he'll remain right where he is. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And that's going to keep him right where he is. Par 5 13th, chance for birdie or maybe even eagle if you're bold and brave enough, but also, Frank, chance for disaster here? Well, there is. Water very much in play down the right side. There's a bunker down the left, too. If you finish up in that, there's no way you're going for this par 5 and 2. Then it becomes a little bit of a zigzag mission. Um, the second shot either has to be hit down the right side, just skirting that bunker in the front, or it has to be all carry. That, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Almost a great shot, just missed it a fraction to the right of this green here at the par five. Yeah, a bit of chip and a putt, still make four. Okay, you like to see that. It has been a tough day, no question about it. But that is a great spot, Frank. Well, it was like it was raining through most of the day, and then all of a sudden the sun popped out, because this is a total change. So after two good shots to get here, this a long look for a possible eagle. Mm, that's a good eagle putt there. Beautifully weighted and just a short one left for birdie. Boy, it's been one of those days. You think the golf gods are against you. It's been a tough ride. This would be a nice birdie. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. A brief ray of sunshine in what has been a difficult tournament. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And he's going to fall even further below par. This one starting a little bit left. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Nice to hear something positive. That's the sound of the ball coming off the middle of the face as opposed to another bogey. No one wants to hear that all day long. So he may need to choke up on this one as he gets set for his second. <laughs> I can't sugarcoat it, but it's been a mash around the greens all day today. 
Now going to have to try and get this out and let it run. Just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold the green. It'll run off into the short stuff. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he's going to stay right where he is. That goes down, but it's a six at the par four. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Now, just caught it fat out of the rough. Never had a chance of reaching, and now it is time to regroup and try to escape with a par. Maybe not what you're hoping for from that number, but no damage. It's on the green. Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker, and this is going to come up a good bit short. A look at birdie here at 15. It's key to keep the pace up. Pretty straight putt, not a whole lot of break. Yeah, I think he's going to be very disappointed that he never gave that a chance to get to the hole. This is a 19-foot putt. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain right where he is. Mm. Okay, not taking advantage of that par five. It's in for a double bogey seven. And that's gonna drop him even further down the leaderboard. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass.
And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. A chance maybe to just throw something up high for his second. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16. And that's going to keep him right where he is. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he's going to stay right where he is. Well, not much to cheer about so far, but that should be worth the smile. Good tee shot and safely in the fairway. Oh, that is right, and that could be trouble. Getting set for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. This ball in the rough, but a pretty good line. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second. It is par four. Been there, done that. It doesn't feel good, especially when they're just short little shots around the green. It feels terrible. Wow, even though that'll be a bogey, that is about as good as you can do right there. That ball took a peek at the hole. Excellent shot. Give one back on a putt like that. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And he's going to fall even further below par. That one polished off for Bogey. And with it, he's going to fall even further down this leaderboard well above par. Uh, knew it right away. That is way left. Oh, and that is not even going to get to the bunker. It's in the water here at 18. Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Now this is second to the par four from just off the fairway.
I don't think he's going to fall in love with that one, Frank, but it won't hurt him. No, but you'd expect from there to sort of get it within kicking distance. Now you've got to work. Mm, wow. I give that the full 10 seconds. But nope, I think that's staying out. What a shame. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he's going to fall even further below par. So, Frank, this a very difficult Friday, four-hour featured golfer. Nothing seems to go right. And this is going to wind up 